Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. In this tutorial I'm going to be continuing the series on Flash Components by demonstrating the List Component. So to get us started we're going to open up a Flash Action Script 3 document. Then what I'm going to do is get the List Component by going to Window, then Components, then List, and I'm going to drag that out onto the stage. And I can close that window now. Now once I have this component I'm going to go to Properties, give it an instance name of how about List Box. We'll close that up. And then what we're going to do is just size it up to make it a little bit larger of a box so we can fit more uh, options in there. So I'm just going to put that on the stage wherever I want it to be. And then I'm going to grab my text tool. And um, let's say for today's tutorial, we're going to be creating a playlist. So I'm just going to say my playlist. And inside um, of this component are going to be all the songs that we're going to have in the playlist. And over here, we're going to render out what is now playing. So I'll say now playing, colon, and we'll size that out a little bit, get it all in one line. So now once we have that done, we can put that there. And actually, let's put that, let's put that in the middle. And then underneath it, we'll drag out another box. And we'll have that be what renders our song. Probably shouldn't have made it that big. Okay, so underneath that we'll say now playing and then a song and I'm just going to move these over. And so in order to render out something in this we're going to need to give this an instance name so we'll click on that dynamic text box, go to properties properties, and then we'll call it, um, let's just say song title because that's what would be there. Okay, so now that we have that done we're ready to start adding some action script to this. So we're going to open up the actions panel. Then I'm going to first add the items to the list box. So I'm going to say list box dot add item and then an open parenthesis space open curly bracket space label label colon space couple of quotes and then inside the quotes we're going to put we're just going to keep it simple by going song one. And then another space after the quote, close curly bracket, space, close parenthesis, then a semicolon. So once you get that done for the first one, you can just copy it over and over for each of the other ones. Now in order to populate this list box, I'm going to do that. I think I have 10 here, so it's very easy to change them once you have them in. So I'm just going to change the numbers. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So now that we have that, that should show up in our list box. But first, we're going to write the event listener to change what it what the text is uh, right here when we click on one of those. So I'm going to open that back up, then a couple times, and then we're going to add the event listener. So we need to say list box dot add event listener. Okay, open parenthesis, event, dot change, in all caps, comma, and let's just call the function song selected, because that's what we're doing. Okay, so then once we have that done, we need to close it with a parenthesis and a semicolon. I'm going to hit enter a couple times, and then we're going to write that function. So function song selected, space, open parenthesis, event, it's an event, so colon event with a capital E. Close parenthesis, colon, void, void. Open curly bracket, hit enter a couple times, close curly bracket, up arrow key. Then inside of this uh, function, we're going to basically tell it to change the text. So we're going to say song title, dot text, space equals space, and then we're going to do uh, event dot target dot selected item. So event dot target target dot selected item with a capital I dot label. So we're basically picking the, we're taking from this event uh, the target which is one of these items in here. So saying pick the selected item and then get the label of that. And then um, it's basically going to change the text box to that label. So then we need a semicolon at the end and I think we should be good to go on this one. So we're going to do control test movie. You'll see we have um, over here the playlist and then when we click on one underneath the now playing it comes up as a song. And you can see that it's added a scroll bar because um, 
you would you probably want to see how uh, high up these are and then get that to be perfect um, so that you don't have like a piece of a uh, option here but uh, if you added more then you'd probably be okay um, so as you can see when I click on these it just changes the song over here under the now playing um, practically this you probably wouldn't want to just render out what song you selected you actually want to play it and you could have a, a media player built in flash and then you could play the song when you click on that and you could have it render out now playing um, but this just gives you an idea of how you could get um, the list box working in this situation um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, write, and comment, and I'll have another component for you tomorrow. Thanks.